Well, I don't think today's weather is actually suitable for what I want to show today. But I am British. I don't let the weather affect me. If, if you do let the weather affect you, you don't do anything. So that's not my attitude. I'll always do stuff regardless of how windy, how wet, how whatever it is. Um, so what I'm going to do today is show everybody my table set up in my van. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to show you my surroundings so you've got some sort of idea of what it's like outside. First thing I'm going to do is try and get out the van. So, yeah. <laughs> Nearly ripped my <laughs> nearly ripped my van door off and my leg getting back in. So yeah, what <laughs> what, what I wanted to do was um, I don't even, in fact I don't even know if I can get the table out the back of my tailgate now because it's so bad um, without causing myself a mischief. So I'm gonna right I'm just gonna have to go and get it out. Whether I can record me doing that I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. Right, here's my table on the uh, tailgate. Down on my head, I've got these brackets to hold it onto the tailgate, and it just clips out with these. Like so. and then this right, that was a bit of a mission getting that out. Um, side door's still open in the van because I'm going to show you exactly uh, where the table goes and how I use it. So, so I've got my table from the back. Here is my swivel bracket. I'm going to show you exactly how that works in a sec. And then all I do, try and do this one-handed, like the rest of my videos, I'm always doing it one-handed. Um, that literally just drops in like that. And then you can move the table in or out. If I want to swivel the passenger seat, I can to face this way and use it. Or if I want to use my two burner hob outside to cook, which is also a really great uh, idea because if you don't want to cook in the van when it's nice, you just literally drop it on there. So, yeah, that's that. Now, if you want to fix it into position, it's basically got, most of you would have seen these, it's like a bicycle front wheel clamp on, which you just literally tighten like that. So when it's into place, you just literally tighten that. Table's then nice and secure. And then down the bottom of the clamp, if you want it tighter so it doesn't swivel anywhere, just hand tighten that which keeps the pole nice and secure so there you go I'm trying to rattle that it won't go anywhere uh, and yeah you can see like this has got a, a bottom bracket which screws into the side step and then another bracket which goes into the pillar there so you can see like I've got still loads of space to get in and out of the van if I turn my front seat round, I've got loads of space as well to get through the middle and also uh, face the other way and, you know, use it as a workstation uh, with my laptop or for food. If there's, you know, two of us in there, we can use it. And then also, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside. and also this bracket uh, can be bought uh, all together and you can also buy it with a table or if you want to buy that just on its own as a kit so you can put your own table on you can do that as well i'll put a link up to where you can get that so like now you can see i've turned the the passenger seat around the other way um, my rock and roll bed's still up i've got plenty of room in here it's really nice and also what i love about this table and kit that i've got 
is I can just store it away. Like if I don't want the table in the van, um, I can literally take that off, put it on the tailgate. Now, I'll put a link up to where I've got the bracket for the tailgate. If you haven't got a tailgate on your van, it's not a problem. You can just put it on the side of your van. Um, I've got two sliding doors, so I can't put it down here. Uh, but most of you watching this has probably only got one sliding door. So put it on the opposite side to your sliding door, basically. Not trying to confuse things. And then, or if you haven't got that, you could probably put it on your kitchen units or something. Um, but yeah, if you've got a bigger van, like a crafter or a transport, uh, a sprinter, you've probably got a million and one places you can store that. Us guys with transporters are a bit limited for space. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you now how I can put this back on my tailgate from inside the van. Lift it up, uh, somehow, again with one hand, and then I'm gonna spin this around. This is where the fun happens. I can do it from the inside. It's a little bit tricky, but it's worth showing everybody just so they got the idea. So now, I'm gonna just slide it down. You see my little brackets here. There you go. She's in position. Turn that there, and then turn that there. All in. And just for an added bit of entertainment, this is the current weather situation where I am. I actually quite enjoy this, especially when I'm inside. It's not like I'm in a tent. So yeah, I'm keeping nice and dry. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found this video useful. I'm gonna put um, links up, I'm just gonna move the seat back because it's actually doing my head in. Um, I'm gonna put links up, like I say, for all the individual items which you can buy. Uh, I would like to show you exactly how I cook as well from the outside, but it's not the weather for that today. So I'll put another video up of the cooker I use as well, etc, etc, etc. And then yeah, just um, if you liked this video and you found it useful, please like, uh, like, subscribe and leave a comment. So that's it for today. Um, I will be posting some more vids soon. So I'm always thinking of new ideas, but if you've got any other ideas or suggestions, just leave a comment. Don't hurt, leave a comment and then I'll take it on board and get back to you or make a video on your suggestion. All right, see you later and enjoy yourselves.